Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to create a 45-45 axon rather than the standard 30-30 isometric that is in Rhino standard. Um, and then to export your line work in the Make 2D. So as you see, I've got my top, front, and right views as well as my perspective window open. We're going to be working in mostly perspective and then we're going to create a new view which should help. Um, so let's start with that. What I'm going to do is right click this down here. You can see where my mouse is right under perspective top front and right where your views are listed. I'm going to right click one of the views and say new viewport and you'll notice that it added a new tab here. I'm going to right click up where my viewport starts and scroll down to set view isometric, and it doesn't matter which one, but we're going to go with northeast. I'm also going to set this to shaded so that we can see what's going on here. So now I've got five views, and you'll notice when I tile off, there's this fifth floating window um, in here. And you know, you can you can set this here, and it will um, it will superimpose itself over top one of your views, um, which is helpful, but those views are always there down here at your at your tab, so you can always flip through those if you want, and then grab it and move it again. I'm not sure if you can move this. Let's see if you can. Yeah, you can. So that's nice. You can have several views tiled over here, and you can also name your views. Um, I believe this is under, on the top here, uh, what is it, set view, actually. I'm already in it. There's this icon that's toggled named views panel and let's say you like this axon here um, which is a 30 30 at the point I can go up to my named views tab which I have located on the right but it'll probably be floating for you and select save as and I'm already in it's important to note that I'm already in this view which I haven't named I'm going to go down and rename that really quick let's call this axon one <laughs> Now I'm going to save this view, and it's automatically axon one, but you can change it. So I'm going to change it axon one thirty thirty, and this view will always be here. So if you if you rotate and navigate away from it, you can double click this view, and it will pop right back in. So show that again, rotating. Oh, I need to get back to that view. Double click your name views. Voila. Um, now let's show you how to create a 45-45 axonometric. Um, now what what you can do, and I don't recommend doing this, is to rotate your isometric until you get <coughs> near 45. And some of you might have already discovered this and gone through and then select and make 2D and all that stuff, but there's a more precise way to go about this. What I'm gonna do is Go to my surface tools. You see my cursor over here. There's a create yeah. surface yeah. cascade, but there's also these rectangular planes, vertical planes, um, well, surface from planar curves. These are all useful tools. What we're going to be using right now is a vertical plane. And actually, before I do this, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm just going to create this vertical plane really quick. And I'll set it to a new color so that we can see it. And I'm going to call this view plane. You can call it whatever you want. And so what we're doing with this view plane is we're actually using another tool up here under your set view tabs, which is this button up here that's look at surface. You can also type that in, I believe. Okay, it's not look at surface. When I click it, it's orient camera to surface. So you can type in orient camera to surface, as you'll see up here in the top left bar. Um, when you do that, and I'll illustrate this in perspective first, I'm going to orient camera to surface, I'm going to select the surface, and you'll notice that my cursor is attached to the surface with an arrow. Um, and what that arrow designates is the position of your camera in relation to the surface. In this case, 
the arrow is pointing away from our object so that the camera will be looking at the object. And I, you can flip that, um, you'll see this option up here to flip. I'm going to say yes, and now it's pointing the other way. So let's look at what this is going to do. When I click it, you will notice that the camera is now facing this surface and is um, perpendicular to that surface. So you can imagine how we're going to approach this. What I'm going to do is use the gumball. I'm going to click the rotation tab, and I'm going to rotate this 45 degrees. And then I'm going to rotate it an additional 45 degrees. Now we know this surface is oriented at the perfect 45-45 in a direction. And so what we can do is we can orient camera to surface using these tools at this, but not in perspective. That's the important part. You have to do this in isometric. You'll notice it already looks like we're pretty damn close to a 45-45, but I'm just going to rotate us off to illustrate this point. I'm going to orient camera to surface, select, make sure the arrow is in the right direction. I click, boom, 45-45, perfect, every time. I'm going to go over to my named view and save it. Axon 1, 45-45, right? And now I'm going to turn off my view plane and now make 2D. Current view, everything's fine. Look at the top, and you've got your 4545. There it is. Looks like a happy little cube. And so I'm going to turn that plane back on. And if you're doing three axons, if they're in three different orientations, what you'll want to do is copy this rotation. I'm going to rotate and select my copy um, option up here so that every rotation that I make is a copy of, of the object that I'm moving. And I'm going to rotate it at 90 and 180 so that this view plane will face the object in this orientation. This clipping plane will look at the object in this orientation, and this clipping plane will look at the object in this orientation. And you're just using these planes to set up your views and then saving your views, and then you can turn these layers off or delete these objects. It doesn't matter, but from there, you'll be able to create your axons. So yeah, I hope this helps, and uh, email me if you have any questions. Great, thanks guys.